What's up everybody, welcome to another episode of Bass Habits. Today we're gonna take a step into 80s pop territory. The band is Duran Duran and the bass player is of course the one and only John Taylor. The, the bass should tell a story from beginning to end. Few bands can define the 80s better than Duran Duran. The group formed in 1978 and became the leading band in the MTV-driven second British invasion of the US in the 1980s. Duran Duran reached stardom in 1982 with their best-selling album ever, Rio. Rio is one of the 1980s best pop statements and still sounds relevant more than 40 years later. Duran Duran's music is a melting pot of new wave, dance music, disco, funk and glam rock. Pretty much every song features an outstanding bass line, so let's take a look at a few tips that will help you get the typical John Taylor sound. Tip number one, syncopation is the name of the game. Syncopation is an interruption of the regular flow or rhythm, or a placement of rhythmic stresses or accents where they would not normally occur. To put it simple, it's a type of musical rhythm in which strong notes are not on the beat. Syncopation is the main feature of most of John Taylor's bass lines and it's a concept that applied to rock music can have some really interesting results. Here's a few examples of the use of bass syncopation in the Rand Rand's music. Number two, always play root on the one. Playing root on the one is the main characteristic of funky bass lines. And there's no better person to explain how it works than early James Brown and Parliament Funkadelic bass player Bootsy Collins. And you hit on the one, one, you know, one, you know. And then you would try to fit your different notes, what you felt in between that, like. Dancing on the Valentine. Of course, it also depends on what you play after that one, because also the Ramones play root on the one all the time, but that doesn't sound very funky. Well, you got the idea. At the end of the video, I'm gonna demonstrate how to apply all these concepts and how to turn a regular pop bass line into a Duran Duran one. So make sure you watch till the end. Tip number three, play staccato. Staccato is another essential trait of John's style and it basically means you have to play each note sharply detached or separated from the others. How do you get a good staccato effect? Take off the finger of your left hand immediately after you play the note. Number 4. Use the double octave chromatic lick. Octave runs are very used in funk and disco music, however, there is one particular figure that John uses all the time, normally before getting back on route. something that I try to do with every song that I record. 
Number five, ascending chromatic scales. This is another recurring element in the Randorasp music. Here's a few examples. Number six, use the 568 lick. What is a 568 lick? It's another simple lick that John uses all the time, playing the fifth, sixth, and octave of the root note. There's many other little moves that John throws in here and there, and Duran Duran's discography is pretty big. John released also a few solo albums, two records with his side project The Power Station, and the incredible 1996 Neurotic Outsiders album, featuring Duff McKagan and Matt Sorum of Guns N' Roses on guitar and drums, and Sex Pistols guitar player Steve Jones on vocals. That is really good, so go and have a listen. Also, John himself recorded a few video tutorials where he shows how he wrote and recorded his favorite Duran Duran bass lines. I've put the link in the description below. And if you feel like it, check the latest video of my band Doberman. Give us a thumb up and leave a comment about bass. We got a new album coming soon and this is the best support you can get me. The link to the video is in the description. Now we're going for a practical demonstration. Please like and comment this video as it really supports my work. Thank you very much for watching, don't forget to follow me on Instagram.